March 20 Deuteronomy 1 1 to 2 37 These are the words which Moses spoke to all Israel on the side of the Jordan in the wilderness in the plain opposite Suf between Paran, Tophel, Laban, Haziroth, and Dezalhab. It is eleven days' journey from Horeb by way of Mount Seir to Kadesh Barnea. Now it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spoke to the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him as commandments to them after he had killed Sihon king of the Amorites who dwelt in Heshbon and Og king of Bashan who dwelt at Ashtaroth in Idri. On this side of the Jordan in the land of Moab Moses began to explain this law saying the Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb saying you have dwelt long enough at this mountain turn and take your journey and go to the mountains of Amorites to all the neighbor to all the neighboring places in the plain in the mountains and in the lowland in the south and on the sea coast to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon as far as a great as far as the great river the river Euphrates See, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give to them and their descendants after them. And I spoke to you all that time, saying, I alone am not able to bear you, and the Lord your God has multiplied you, and here you are today. As the stars of heaven in multitude, may the Lord God of your fathers make you thousand times more numerous than you are, and bless you as he has promised you. How can I alone bear your problems and burdens and complaints? Choose wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men from among your tribes and I will make them heads over you and you answered me and said the thing which you have told us to do is good so I took the heads of your tribes wise and eligible men and made them heads over you leaders of thousands leaders of hundreds leaders of fifties leaders of tens and offers for your tribes then I commanded your judges at that time saying hear the cases between your brethren and judge righteously between a man and his brother or the stranger who is with him you shall now show partiality in judgment you shall hear the small as well as the great you shall not be afraid in any man's presence for the judgment is god's the case that is too hard for you bring to me and i will hear it and I commanded you at that time all the things which you should do. So we departed from Horeb and went through all the great and terrible wilderness which you saw on the way to the mountains of the Amorites as the Lord our God had commanded us. Then we came to Kadesh Barnea and I said to you, You have come to the mountains of the Amorites which the Lord which the Lord our God has given us. Look, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up and possess it, as the Lord God of your fathers has spoken to you. Do not fear or be discouraged. And every one of you came near to me and said, Let us send men before us and let them search out the land for us and bring back word to us of the way by which we should go up, of the cities into which we shall come the plan pleased me well so i took 12 of your men one man from each tribe and they departed and went up into the mountains and came to the valley of Eshkol and spied it out they also took some of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down to us and they brought back word to us saying it is a good land which the lord our god is given us 
Nevertheless, you would not go up, but rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. And you complained in your tents and said, Because the Lord, because a because the Lord hates us, he has brought us out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Where can we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and fortified up to heaven. Moreover, we have seen the sons of the Anakim there. Then I said to you, do not be terrified or afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes before you, he will fight for you according to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes and in the wilderness where you saw how the Lord your God carried you as a man carries his son in all the way that you went until, until you came to this place. Yet for all that you did not believe the Lord your God who went in the way before you to search out a place for you to pitch your tents to show you the way you should go in the fire by night and in the cloud by day and the lord heard the sound of your words and was angry and took an oath saying surely not one of these men of this evil generation shall see that good land of which i swore to give to their fathers except caleb the son of Jep Jephoni, he shall see it and to him and his children i am giving the land on which he walked because he wholly followed the lord and followed the lord the lord was also angry with me for your sakes saying even you shall not go in there joshua the son of nun who stands before you he shall go in there encourage him for he shall cause israel to inherit it Moreover, your little ones and your children, who say, who you say will be victims, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they shall go in there, to them I will give it, and they shall possess it. But as far but as for you, turn and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Then you answered and said to me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight, just as the Lord our God commanded us. And when every one of you had girded on his weapons of war, you are ready to go up into the mountain. And the Lord said to me, Tell them, Do not go up for do not go up nor fight, for I am not among you, lest you be defeated before your enemies. So I spoke to you, yet you would not listen but rebelled against the command of the Lord, and presumptuously went up into the mountain. And the Amorites who dwelt in that mountain came, came out against you and chased you as beasts do, and drove you back from Seir to Horma. Then you, then you returned and wept before the Lord, but the Lord would not listen to your voice, nor give ear to you. So you remained in Kadesh many days, according to the days that you spent there. Then we, re then we turned and journeyed into the wilderness of the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke to me. And we skirted Mount Sire for many days. And the Lord spoke to me, saying, You have skirted this mountain long enough. Turn northward. And command the people, saying, You are about to pass through the territory of your brethren, the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir, and they will be afraid of you. Therefore, watch yourselves carefully. Do not meddle with them, for I will not give you any of their, any of their land. No, not so much as one footstep, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. You shall buy food from them with money that you may eat, and you shall buy, and you shall also buy water from them with money that you may drink. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hand. He knows your, he knows your trudging through his great wilderness. These forty years, the Lord your God has been with you. 
you have lacked you have lacked nothing and when we passed beyond our brethren the descendants of Esau who dwell in Seir away from the road of the plain away from Elath and Izion Gibir we turned and passed by way of the wilderness of Moab then the Lord said to me do not harass Moab nor contend with them in battle for I will not give you any of their land as a possession because I have given art to the descendants of Lot as a possession the MM had dwelt there in times past a people as great and numerous and tall as Anakim they were they were also regarded as giants like the Anakim but the Moabites called them Emim the Horites former formerly dwelt in Seir but the descendants of Esau disposed dispossessed them and destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their place but as Israel did but as, just as Israel did to the land of their possession which the Lord gave them now rise and cross over the valley of Zered so we so we crossed over the valley of the Zered and the time we took to come from Kadesh Barnea until we crossed over the valley of Zered was 38 years until all the generation of the men of war was consumed from the midst of the camp just as the Lord had sworn to them for indeed the hand of the Lord was against them to destroy them from the midst of the of the camp until they were consumed so it was when all the men of war had finally perished from among the people that the Lord spoke to me saying this day you are to cross over at our boundary of Moab and when you come near the people of, of Ammon do not harass them or middle with them for I will not give you any of the land of the people of Ammon as a position because I have given it to the descendants of Lot as a position that was already regarded as a land of giants giants formerly dwelt there but the Ammonites call them Zamzumim a people as great and numerous and tall as the Anakim but the Lord destroyed them before them and they thus possessed them and dwelt in their place just as he had done for the descendants of Esau who dwelt in Seir when he destroyed the Horites before them the rest possessed them and dwelt in their place even to this day and that and the Avim who dwelt in villages as far as Gaza the Kaftorim who came from Kaftor destroyed them and dwelt in their place rise take your journey and cross over the river Arnon look I have given into the hand of into your hand Sihon the Amorite king of Heshbon and his land begin to possess it and engage him in battle this day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the nations under the whole heaven who shall hear the report of you and you shall tremble and be in anguish because of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you and I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sihon king of Heshbon with words of peace saying let me pass through your land I will keep strictly to the road and will and I will not turn neither to the right nor to the left you shall sell me food for money that I may eat and give me water for money that I may drink only let me pass through on foot just as the descendants of Esau who dwell in Seir and the Moabites who dwell in Ar did for me until I cross the Jordan to the land which the Lord our God is giving us but Sihon king of Heshbon would not let us pass through for the Lord 
your God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into the hand, into your hand, as it is this day. And the Lord said to me, See, I have begun to I have begun to give Sihon and his land over to you. Begin to possess it, that you may inherit his land. Then Sihon and all his people came out against us to fight at Jahaz, and the Lord our God delivered him over to us so we defeated him his sons and all his people we took we took all his cities at that time and we utterly destroyed the men women and little ones of every city we left none remaining we took only the livestock as plunder for ourselves with the spoil of the cities which we took from everywhere which is on the bank of the river Arnon and from the city that is in the raven as far as Gilead there was not one city too strong too strong for us the Lord our God delivered all to us only you did not go near the land of the people of Ammon anywhere along the river Jabbok or the cities of the mountains of wherever the Lord our God had forbidden us. Psalm 36, 1-6 to, to the chief musician, some of David, the servant of the Lord, an oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates the words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit he has ceased to be wise and to do good he devises wickedness on his bed he sets himself in a way that is not good he does not abhor evil your mercy O lord is in heaven in the heavens faithfulness reaches to the clouds your righteousness is like the great mountains your judgments are a great deep O Lord your your preserve man and beast Proverbs 12 4 to 6 an excellent wife is a crown of her husband but she who causes shame is like rottenness in his bones she thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked are lie in wait for blood, for the month of the upright will deliver them. Mark 16, 1-20 Now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen, and they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away for it was very large and entering the tomb they saw a young man clothed in a young white robe sitting on the right side and they were alarmed but he said to them do not be alarmed you seek Jesus not you seek Jesus of Nazareth was crucified he is risen he is not here See the place where they laid him? But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him, as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for they trembled and were amazed. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now when he rose early, on the first day of the week 
he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Later, he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardened of heart and the hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen and he said to them go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he who believes and is baptized will will be saved but he who does not believe will be condemned and these signs will follow those who believe in my name they will cast out demons they will speak with new tongues they will take up serpents and if they drink anything deadly it will by no means hurt them they will lay hands on the sick on the sick and they will recover so then after the lord had spoken to them he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of god and they went out and preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the word through accompanying signs. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit, thank you God for your goodness, your faithfulness, O oh Lord. Thank you God for reminding us once again, God, that your word is true. Thank you God for your blood shed on the cross to save the whole world. Help us, God to love you more, to believe in you more, and to trust in you more. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name.